This is Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada. In the studio with us today again is Darren Evans, Global Hardware Commercial Leader for Bentley, Nevada. Darren, for the last oh, three, three and a half years, has been focused on the new Orbit 60 platform, which is uh, just being released to the marketplace as we speak. And Darren, in our last discussion, we talked a little bit about the different form factor that uh, Orbit 60 has. It's 3U high kind of in its native state, and there's also a 6U high version, and that uh, is useful for, say, like a 3500 retrofit. But there's also some variations in how you mount this rack, and I wonder if you could unpack that for us a little bit. Yeah, sure. So if you have a lot of experience with 3500, there was three key mounting styles. There was bulkhead mount, there was panel mount, and EIA or rack mount. With Orbit 60, you have all three of those options as well. And you have all three of those options in the in the 3U and the 6U form factor. Now with, with Orbit 60, um, a bit of a difference is like in the bulkhead mounting design is if you looked at the 3500, the input and the output modules are essentially, uh, and the processing modules are stacked on top of each other which really turned that 6U rack into a 12U rack. With Orbit 60, no matter which way you mount it, you, you maintain the same size of the system. So for example, in a 3U bulkhead mount environment, you would just have that 3U form factor against the mounting panel. So the Orbit 60, the display can really be mounted anywhere. There's a lot of display options. If I understand it, accessing the quote front of the rack isn't strictly necessary. You can flip it around, mount it against the wall in a bulkhead style, and then you can access what people would typically think of as the back of the rack, and then you can move that display anywhere you want it. Exactly. So the way that the Orbit 60 system has been designed is any of the functionality on the front of the rack, or you know, tr traditionally the public-facing side, has all been repli replicated on the back. So the, the buffered output connectors, the LED indicators, all those things that an operator would want to see when he walked up to the rack, he can access the front or the back. So when you do mount it in the bulkhead form, it's just simply, there's no, there's no access to that very public facing side of it. But as I mentioned, everything is replicated to the back where you can have all functionality. What percentage of uh, customers are interested in the bulkhead mount version versus the, uh, the other? I think you said the panel mount and the rack mount. I think with uh, 3500, you saw a pretty strong variation between the three mounting styles. With Orbit 60, we really feel like there's going to be a lot more bulkhead mount versions of the Orbit 60 ordered than the other two mounting styles. And that's traditionally because of the way that you can mount it in cabinets now. With the depth being 30% less, a lot more customers are going to mount it in a bulkhead form on a mounting panel in the middle of the cabinet. It really open up the cabinet for more accessibility for more terminal blocks. And when you think about the field I.O. concept of Orbit 60, which we'll talk about more in a later episode, uh, you can put this in a field mounted cabinet next to the machine where bulkhead mounting would be the ideal option there mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I know as you and I have talked kind of offline, Darren, one of the big things in people, when they've installed systems, they're aware of it. But if they're kind of peripheral, you don't often think that sometimes the biggest aspect of cost in these systems is the wiring and the cabinets and the panels and, and, and basically the physical accommodation for it as opposed to the, the instrument itself. And uh, it sounds like the bulkhead option is going to help with a lot of those things. Yeah, and you traditionally saw, like with, I use 3500 a lot as an example because that's what everybody's really used to. Um, you could mount three of those in one normal 800 by 800 by 2100 freestanding cabinet. With Orbit 60, we're able to put uh, up to six uh, 3U Orbit 60 racks in that cabinet. Of course, you have to consider field wiring, terminal space, and all, everything for all those inputs. But from a real estate standpoint, you can put in many more Orbit 60s in the same space. Yeah, well, that's a big deal for people that have done this kind of work. So let's uh, have you back. Like I said, the list of things to talk about with Orbit 60 is long, and uh, it's good to have you here, Darren. We're going to get you back real quickly and continue to talk about Orbit 60. You've been listening to Take 5 with Bentley, Nevada, a Baker Hughes business.